How's it going, everybody? So, I haven't done a video for uh, new comics uh, in a while, so I thought I'd uh, show you guys what I got in the last little bit. Now, this is for the last uh, two to three weeks from my profile. I did go to my comic book shop uh, on Saturday, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got from my file. So, some of these will be from even uh, more than a few weeks ago, but uh, they're, they're still pretty new, so I just want to show you what I guys got. I ended up getting uh, the Star Wars Insider uh, Insider Magazine, Issues 213. I've been reading th this magazine for a while. I really enjoy it, seeing all the new and upcoming shows and what they talk about for uh, Disney TV shows, like all the new Star Wars stuff. And it's pretty cool that how they got Boba Fett on the front cover and they're showcasing uh, the book, book of Boba Fett that's coming up for the new season. And and all the news and there's lots of interviews and just everything about sketch artists um showcasing how they uh draw some of the characters in here so i think this is a pretty important uh magazine if you if you read star wars comic books this is definitely uh but to get it comes out every couple months is by by monthly i think it's called so uh this is cover a and they do make various covers for this, and this is uh, uh, cover B. So this is, uh, as it says on the bottom, the official license for Star Wars. And it just gives lots of news and uh, articles and interviews with uh, different art comic artists and with uh, different uh, TV, with uh, some of the producers of the show. So it's very informative, and which is why I read it, because I like reading all the news and stuff. And yes, and it just uh, is showing, uh, one of the articles is showing uh, about all their Lego and Marvel, uh, the history of the Star Wars Lego and Darth Vader and all of that. So I think that's uh, so cool that they do uh, articles on that. So, um, I mean, it, it's a good read. So I, I suggest picking it up. I mean, the covers are uh, spectacular. It, all the variant covers are, are really good. So... Um, so I'm going to show you guys, uh, there's something wrong with Patrick Todd, uh, number one. Even though this came out in July, uh, I got it signed by comic book writer Ed Bresson. He came to my, uh, comic book shop way back when this issue came out, and he did a bunch of signing for the comics. Um, I wasn't, unfortunately, be able to be there that day, but my wife did go down and was able to put this uh, uh, for me, and she got to meet Ed Bresson. He's a uh, Canadian, uh, very well-known Canadian comic book writer. He's worked for uh, Marvel and DC, and now he's doing his own independent book. This is more like a crime, uh, crime story where uh, a guy just gets into unfortunate events and turns to uh, life and crime, and stuff happens to him. It's kind of like a CSI uh type type story so it's pretty cool i love the artwork uh you know the story is really good because it's done by ed Bresson. and um, like i say he's done a bunch of other stuff for marvel and dc so uh check his work out he's pretty good so i was able to get issue one and issue two signed but i did did pick up itch, issue three uh so it's like patrick versus uh a uh, person called zeus and it changes him when he meets up with this uh, bad guy. So, um, so Ed Bresson was uh, doing a tour across Canada. So he, at the time, he well, he came through the comic book shop. So I don't have issue three side. He's um, um, only came for the first issue, but that's okay. I'm going to uh, be clapping this one. I kind of like these crime stories. I don't know about you guys. So this is a little bit different. It's not a... A uh, true superhero book, but it's more of a cr crime beat, uh, mystery type one. So if you like uh, CSI and all those shows, this will be a good one uh, for you guys. So a new comment that came out is X-Men Legends number two. So guest starring Wolverine. So it's Wolverine versus the X-Men. So is there some mysterious force um, um, controlling Wolverine is what, why he's going after the uh, X-Men, so it's, you have to read the issue to uh, find out. It looks like it's very entertaining. I love the cover with Wolverine and, and the Beast on it. 
uh, estimate. I've been collecting estimate columns for a long time. So this is just a new um, series that uh, uh, stories that uh, they're they're doing. So I'm not sure how long this run will go, but the artwork's pretty good. I love love reading Asmen. So uh, we'll see. So it's a new new Asmen series that started. So uh, Star Wars Darth Vader uh, number twenty seven. I did get cover A. So I uh, love the cover with uh, with Darth Vader and and say Sa I believe is her name. So uh, Darth Vader and this lady are on a battle. And they're trying fighting each other, so it's a pretty cool story. It's not a key issue, as always. Uh, the artwork for these uh, Star Wars books are so awesome. I I mean it. You can't go wrong uh, reading Star Wars. It's just such a cool uh, book, and it's more adventures of Darth Vader really, and him going throughout the galaxy and um, fight, meeting all these people, and just. Uh, his adventures, like um, like Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader has had his own uh, adventures uh, throughout his, his lifetime there. So I think that it, it's a good route. This is volume, uh, volume 3, uh, issue number 27 that just recently came out. So uh, did you guys get this one? Are you a fan of Star Wars? Do you like uh, Star Wars comics? I know I do. Sometimes I buy the... Star Wars books just for the covers because they are so, so awesome. Might be uh, worth grading at some point. So I did get Star Wars The Mandalorian Issue 3. Another awesome uh, read uh, by Marvel as we, as the Mandalorian um, returns to his place, uh, house or whatever to uh, uh, often another adventure and he's trying to heal heal up from a bunch of wounds and now he's uh on to his next adventure so it, it's another exciting story I, I give this issue a six out of ten just because uh it, the story's there i mean it's not uh a typical read but still if you're a fan of the show this will be a good uh uh a uh, uh, good read for you guys not a key issue or anything but still a pretty fun um, I love the cover with the Mandalorian. What, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to uh, collect this one or are you not going to read it? So this is a, another new one, new Star Wars book uh, that came out. So I'm looking forward to uh, reading this. So I, I haven't um, been able to read all of these yet. So it is ju just fun. So I also got Gunsplit Spawn. Uh, I'm such a fan of uh, 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 spawn so i want to showcase uh this one this is more of a horror uh type type uh spawn story so this is not for the uh younger audience by any means but it it is done by tom marfoner there is a cgc signing with tom marfoner and i know there's going to be a lot of uh people sending books and i won't be one of them because i don't think my i don't know how safe my book will be once it even if it gets there, because there's going to be hundreds of thousands of books for the signing of CGC. And much as I would like to have my book signed by uh, Tom Farn, it is going to be way too expensive. So I'm also on a budget, so I can only afford to do so much. Even though I work full time, um, I, I only have a budget to do so many comics a year grading. And then if you add signing on top of that. It, it can get really expensive really quickly. So, uh, yeah, good for everybody to be doing it. It'd be nice to uh, get something signed by Tom McFarland. But I would rather do it at try and do it at a Comic Con at some point and do it do it and meet him in person. But uh, even going to Comic Cons is really expensive. So, uh, Gunslinger Spawn is another new one that just came out. Yeah, I love the cover of this was uh, Gunslinger Spawn. Uh, this is the second new series for for Spawn in the in last few years. So another kind of horror uh, type uh, comic I've been really liking is Ice Cream Man. This is uh, this is issue thirty two. Uh, this is cover A, I believe. Uh, uh, again, this is by by no means uh, for the younger gen for the younger kids. This is a more mature. Or read is a uh, person goes on a killing spree uh, a lot of the time and 
there's a lot of fighting and gore and uh it's definitely a crime crime mystery um um uh book so it is not for the uh younger younger uh gen for the younger ones that's for sure and this is the variant cover i got so why do you guys like better do you like cover a or do you like cover B? I like the black and white one personally, but cover A it really uh, speaks to me there. So that that's some comments that I got for uh, this last little while. I I know I haven't done the new uh, co uh, video for comments in a while, so I want to show you guys uh, what I picked up this week. Just some pretty cool stuff. And again, I did get uh, Ed Brisson's uh, autograph for for something. Uh, a wrong with Patrick Todd. This is an uh definitely a new comment. I say check it out. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. It seems now that uh, most uh, comment writers are going into their own independent books, which I think is pretty cool once they uh stop working for Marvel or DC. So uh and what do you guys think? Are you guys collecting uh Star Wars Insider? I know I really I really like them and they're such cool cool reads and i just put them on the shelf and they usually come with cool variant uh covers so uh this is this month's um in star wars insider i really like the one with boba fett and the sidekick here but i also like uh this one too so um do you guys watch the book book of boba fett or do you not so that's what i got for this week so um yeah but that's what I clad. I clad other different stuff from what uh, other people clad. Sometimes we all clad the same things. Sometimes we don't. So my final thought is, um, clad what you like. Don't go by me or whoever else. I I know what characters, what uh, what publishers I do like, and I probably clad different things than other people too. But I do, I do like to clad uh, what what people. Uh, I, I probably class same, same stuff as other people too. So we all have, have our favorite titles and I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So, and I do not, definitely know I like right reading these. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, join me next Saturday for, uh, for more, more, uh, I guess Bronze Age to uh, Copper Age comics. I'll do another video for saturday so i'll see you guys next next saturday for uh joe's comment talk and everybody have a good week and that's what i got for new comments and i'll try to do more uh videos for new uh new comments but you can always uh join me on tiktok instagram and twitter i'll be posting uh some of these as well over the course of the week so at the same at the same uh Link is here at Joel's comments table and I enjoy talking comments with you guys. Thanks everybody. Have a great week.